In this video, we'll figure out the number of atoms in PbCH3COO2. This is called lead 2, and this is the acetate ion. We have two acetate ions. Sometimes for the acetate ion, you'll see it written as C2H3O2. It's the same thing, it's just organized a little bit differently. So you would have the same number of atoms. So we're going to go with this one up here. Let's write the element symbols down first. We have our lead, that's the Pb, carbon, hydrogen, and we have oxygen. So these are the atoms in this lead to acetate. For the lead, there's nothing written after it. So we're going to assume the subscript is one, one lead atom. Then for this acetate here, we need to take into account the two because the two applies to everything in the parentheses. So we'll have one carbon here and the one carbon here. So two carbons times two, four total carbons. Three hydrogens right here times two. Three times two, that's six. And then oxygens, again, we assume the subscript to be one. We have two oxygens times two. Two times two, four. So we have a total of 15 atoms for PbCH3COO2, lead to acetate. Sometimes you'll be asked to figure out how many moles of, say, lead there are in one mole of the lead to acetate. To do that, we multiply the number of lead atoms, we only have one, times Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That gives us the number of lead atoms in one mole of lead to acetate. For the carbon, we would multiply it by four, so four times Avogadro's number. The hydrogen, we could multiply that by six, and I lost part of my four here. And then for the oxygen atoms, we have four. We'd multiply that by Avogadro's number, get the same answer as we had for carbon. So that's how you find the number of atoms in lead to acetate, PbCH3COO2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.